Alrighty, boyos. Welcome back once again to another video. How are you guys doing, guys? Today, I am exhausted. Uh, this video has taken a very long time. Getting the gameplay alone took two and a half days. Getting this video out took about three to three and a half days. Over 20 hours easily has gone into the making of this video. And with that being said, normally I don't do this, but I'm, I want to ask you guys if you could please leave a like on the video. Please subscribe if you're new and share this video around. I'm sure even your grandma would love to see this video. Um, this is 100 Storm King kills. We have completed the Storm King over 100 times. You guys seeing that gameplay in the background right now. At the end of the video, you guys will see all of the loot that we got from these Storm King runs. And it's just insane. I am near positive that this is a world record of the first group to clear Storm King 100 times. And I know people like Loke Hansen are currently working on a Storm King video for 100 clears, but I believe that this is the first time anybody has come out, shown proof of 100 runs, and claimed the world record of the first people to run Storm King 100 times. I know that Criddle Craddle was the world's first, and I know that currently Isherwood, which his link will be in the description if you guys are curious, is the current speedrunner uh, world record holder. And you know, a lot of stuff has happened because of Storm King being introduced. Uh, I want to go over that, but first I want to go and say like how this came to be. Um, so basically the group that is running it is mainly uh, just me, Death Grip, Nilek, and Samantha. And those are basically like my mods and my friends and my live streams. And you know, we were sitting there in our own little Discord one night and Samantha was like, you know what, Joey, you should probably run Storm King a hundred times and do a video on it. I think I was talking to them about like video ideas and just stuff to do for the channel. And Samantha came up with the idea and I was like, Samantha, I think you are a freaking genius. So we immediately got to work. You know, me and Death Grip started working on it the next day. Then we picked up Nilek and Samantha. And, you know, while me and Death Grip were running it, we had a few subscribers. But then we picked up Nilek and Samantha to run with us. You know, one night Death Grip had to go because he had, you know, study for finals. So me, Samantha, and Nilek ran like 10 more runs. And in the end, we all got together and ran 20 more to finish off 100 runs of the Storm King. It was absolutely insane, and I think it's freaking crazy, man. You know, this is the first actual in-game content in the game, and we hold the world record for it, you know? Uh, I think that's pretty insane to even think about, and you know, me being the first person to make a video of 100 drops and a loot video and proof and showing off 100 runs, I think it's crazy, man. This is easily my biggest video to date, and you know, I'd like to thank all of you guys that are watching and have been supporting me, and I'd like to thank, you know, Nilex, Samantha, Death Grip for being there, for helping me run this 100 times and helping me get this video out. It's freaking insane, man. Easily my biggest video to date, and you know, the Storm King as a whole really does set a precedent for the rest of Fortnite Save the World. I truly feel that we're honestly going to be seeing a lot more of this kind of stuff. More teams are going to pursue the world's, you know, world's first. More teams are going to pursue first 100. More teams are going to pursue uh, speed runs and stuff like that. And I think the more that we see bosses and the more that we see in-game content, the more people are going to flock towards making this, you know, a, a pretty good sport. You know, it, it's always been something in like the Destiny world where, you know, a new raid comes out in Destiny, you always got teams that are running to be the first, and then you always got teams that are running uh, to do it the fastest, and then people that are running to run it however many times first, and just so much stuff uh, goes on in the Destiny community, let alone any other game with raids and in-game content. I think that soon we're probably going to see more of this kind of stuff, which really does spice up the content for the viewers, you guys, and for us content creators gives us more to do. And I think that, you know, people pursuing these world records, people uh, pursuing these speedruns really makes it a lot of fun for everybody. You know, makes people really want to get in the game and try it out and see what they can do. But uh, that's pretty much all I really got to talk about. You know, like I said, the end of the video is going to showcase all the loot that we got, which, by the way, is a lot. Um, but yeah, you know, I just figured that this would be today's video, easily my biggest project to date. And I'm so happy the way that this turned out. And I thank you guys so much for watching and being there for me. Uh, you know, a lot of you guys have been excited over on Twitter where I've been talking about it, and a lot of you guys have been watching for such a long time and giving me the opportunity to even make this video, you know. Just thank you guys so much. Uh, I really, really, really do appreciate it, and I appreciate my team that helped me run this a hundred times, and I just want to thank Fortnite in general, you know, Epic Games for actually stepping up their game and getting us some really good content in the game. I think the future of this game is very bright, and I honestly can't wait to see 
you know, where it's going to go in the future. But guys, that's pretty much it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly do appreciate it. The end of this video, like I said, is going to be the loot portion. So that's it for the current me. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.
Alrighty boyos, welcome to the loot portion of the Storm King video. After 100 runs of the Storm King, this is the loot that we got, so I hope you guys do enjoy. Now, here is a little bit of a screenshot of what we first started out with. Those are my resources before we ever even did a Storm King run. It was obviously after my first ever run because I made a video on it, but whenever we first started to decide that, hey, this is what we're going to do, I went to my resources, I took a screenshot so I could figure out how much stuff you would roughly get from 100 Storm King runs. Now, if we go to my resources right here, this is what I currently have. So I'll go and go over what I got. I got 393 Eyes of the Storm. I got 700 plus Lightning in a Bottle, over a thousand drops of rain, 10 Storm Shard, because I bought them from the store, uh, over 5,000 Rare Perk Up, over 200 Uncommon Perk Up, and the way that that works, by the way, is if you can get uh, one of your Perk Caches to turn into a Rainbow Cache, it'll give you everything that's under it. So I ended up getting a Rare Perk Cache, which turned into a Rainbow Cache, which gave me Uncommon Perk Up as well as the Rare Perk Up. Uh, we also got 7,000, over 7,000 reperk, around 600k schematic XP, around 230k hero XP, and roughly 500k survivor XP. We also got around 3 to 4 legendary schematics, we got 1 epic perk up cache, and about 120 epic schematics in total. We got quite the loot from 100 runs. Now the main stuff that sticks out here is obviously the drops of rain stick out. You know, I got over a thousand of those. Uh, the re-perk obviously sticks out a lot in this list and the rare perk up as well. But whenever it comes to stuff being useful, the pure drops of rain and the re-perk. I mean, I got 17k. That is a lot of freaking re-perk. I'm pretty much ready for any weapon that comes out. Not to mention I have enough epic and legendary perk up to, you know, be able to max out a weapon the second it comes out. So, let's go and take a look at the schematics, because I did get quite a few schematics as well. So, let's scroll down here. So, here are, you know, some of the legendary. We got about three to four of these. I remember the pipe down being one. Uh, tr uh, Master's Driver was definitely one. Hack or yeah, hack axe and the uh, dissector. I remember those in particular. I already had uh, everything else. So pipe down, uh, master's driver, dissector, and the hack axe were the ones that I did get. I do remember those specifically. But we got quite the uh, few epic schematics. We got a lot of uh, you know antler axes. We got a lot of bandits. Uh, we did get some cool stuff from the scavenger set as well. Uh, if I can find some. Uh, yeah, we ended up getting a uh, 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 epic nailer. We ended up getting the hydraulic sledge as well. We got some swords, and you know, of course, that hack axe up there. Um, I remember I did get some husk busters. Yep, there we go. We got some husk busters right here. We got some pipe downs right here, uh, and we also have a scavenger spear, uh, skewers, and whatnot, socket wrenches. A lot of these uh, tremendous drivers and then that's kind of it for the uh, schematics So what I kind of want to do with these schematics is I want to use some of my transforms up So if we take a look, I can't think of anything in particular. I really want uh, But we're just gonna kind of go with the flow So we'll go with some heroes right now uh, and just see how much stuff we can just kind of pour into this so I don't actually know I don't think there's anything I can add to the collection book, but I'd like to go ahead and make sure first. Oh Okay, yeah, there's a few things we can put in the collection book, so I guess we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, the good old Storm King is going to give me some collection book levels, which I won't complain about because, you know, you do get some pretty good stuff from the collection book. So I'll go ahead and add some of these into there, uh, get everything I can because I don't really need any of this. Most of the stuff, or pretty much all the stuff, you can also get from the llamas. So, you know, go ahead and put it in the collection book. Oh man, I love the pipe down. For the memes though, you know, I gotta put it away. And there we go. There's a lot of collection book items we just slotted. Uh, level 163. Got some pure drops of rain, some more Evo mats. So that is cool beans. Okay, so we did that. And I think that is pretty much it for schematics. So let's go and do some transforms. Uh, let's do some heroes first. You know, of course, we'll do um, these. I'm not sure if we'll be able to do it uh, with all epic. I don't think, I don't, I'm not sure if that'll be possible. Wow. Yeah, we can't even do it with three legendary. So. Can we even do these, or do heroes cost more? Heroes might cost, oh yeah, heroes do cost more. Okay, so we can do this one right here. Let's go and transform that one. Got some wall lights, I actually don't even think I had wall lights. Let's see if we can do this gun right here. Um, 
Do a sword. Yeah, we can do these with epic. So let's do that. Transform. Got a death wing. Okay. Do a pistol for the memes. <laughs> can we even do it? Uh, oh, wait. Yeah. We can, we can use these. There we go. Transform. Got a monsoon. I, I don't normally do transforms, and, you know, they do give some decent XP. So I'm not going to turn them down. Maybe we can do all epic on this one. Swap this one out. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, so let's transform that one as well. Got a Husk Buster. Awesome. Not going to complain about a Husk Buster, even though I already have it. It's kind of cool just to get it, you know what I mean? Uh, so we'll do some more of these epic transforms. And then after this, after we do the transforms, then we'll just pretty much uh, recycle everything. Because I rarely do... Um, oh, dude, I love the Maverick. I rarely do... Um, you know transforms and whatever i'm only doing it now because we're on camera and it kind of gives me an opportunity to so i don't think we're gonna make this one just epic so let's throw in a bandit there we go got wall dynamos probably my favorite trap uh then we can do one more trap let's throw in a hammer crush and then we'll do some of these epics as well oh okay, yeah there was that nailer um i don't really like the nailer so we'll do that uh, another wall dynamo awesome uh out of these i wish i had like an explosive weapon one because i really want the trash cannon i wonder if ranged weapon counts melee weapon hero hmm i guess we could try for a ranged weapon uh and try to get a uh oh no we don't want to do that and try to get a trash cannon i don't think we can though yeah uh, but we'll go ahead and do pretty much all of these that we can. Because uh, I did, I do have a few research points, of course. So we can do quite the transforms. Um, and, you know, just kind of try to get the most that we can out of, you know, all these schematics and whatever. I uh, got a zapper. Let's see. I don't really need survivors, to be honest. We can do a sword just for the memes. Throw this one down. There we go. Got a hydraulic sword. Hey, we got something interesting. Cool. Um, ooh, you want to see if we can... Is there an epic version of the Hydra? I don't think there is. We'll go, we'll go shotgun. It's kind of cool to get the uh, scavenger weapons and the hydraulic weapons. It actually makes transforms a little bit more interesting. Uh, you know, granted, I already had them all. Um, but it is still fun. Oh, yeah, there you go. We got an epic tsunami. And I'm sure a lot of people are really looking forward to to uh, that sniper as well just from the looks alone so that's actually a pretty good pull uh, I'm not sure if I still need that for the collection book so I'm not going to slot it just yet as I slot it on accident um, it's an epic husk buster there we go throw these in there I've got a blood letter uh, club we can do a club can you get a pipe down from the club maybe we'll find out transform Tremendous driver, of course. I'm kind of sick of seeing those by now. <laughs> We're definitely getting rid of these transforms because, like I said, I never transform. We're actually getting rid of a lot of stuff. Uh, we got a wasp melee weapon. Maybe we can get an epic pipe down, boys. Maybe an epic pipe down? Uh, antler axe. Yeah, I'm kind of tired of seeing that as well. Uh, ranged weapon. We might have a chance at a trash cannon. Probably not. Yeah. Oh, dude, we did get a riptide, though. It's pretty good. Um... Yeah, I'm pretty sure they would just call them explosive weapons if you were able to get them. Like an explosive weapons um, schematic or transform, I mean. It's pretty oh, wait, is this one? Is this the infinite one? Am I using the infinite one over and over again? Where's the consumable? I'm going to use up the consumable ones because I want to get rid of them. Uh, let's do this one right here. There we go. Cool thing about this is that you get schematic XP and you get another schematic at the same time. So... If you guys don't do your transforms, I highly recommend that you do. Oh yeah, we got we got quite the melee weapons right now. Um, so let's try to get rid of some of these. Uh, starting to run a little low on research points, but not too bad. Sealing gas traps. I know, uh, you know, that's one of the best traps in the game for those of you that don't already have it. Uh, transform this one. Patrol ward. Awesome. And. We're actually, I think we're going to be able to clear this out, which would be pretty freaking cool. I'm kind of tired of looking at these. Uh, ceiling zapper. Or, 
Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, we have way too many. We'll do like two assault rifle ones. And then we'll move on and, and see if there's really anything else I can look at. Uh, razor wire. And let's, I don't want to put forth any of the hydraulic ones. Nope. Close out. There we go. And we got an equalizer. Okay, so that's pretty much it as far as the video goes, I believe. I don't really think there's much I can do. Um, gold, you know, gold was really, really, really plentiful for the 100 runs. Um, you know, just pretty much spend it on, like, just about anything. Uh, you, you just got way too much gold for the Storm King runs. But, uh, yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much it for the video. I don't think there's anything else I can really cover. I guess I could buy her for the memes, uh, but we pretty much kind of went over everything. I did the little transforms at the end, um, you know, just to kind of experiment, kind of get rid of some of those. And we also did get quite a few of the, um, you know, newer event items that came back. Oh, yeah, we we're able to actually put two more things in the collection book because of that. So that was actually worth my time, big time. Definitely worth my time. Uh, just under 2 million schematic XP. And just because I'm lazy, we will recycle the rest of this stuff and we got a lot of stuff to recycle um and that'll give me plenty of uh, schematic xp for any like stupid antics i got in the future uh but let's go and clear out all of these and see what we get but the storm king guys it, it took you know a lot of freaking time to do uh would i say that running it a hundred times is worth it uh probably not uh <laughs> you know just did it for the video and for the world record and stuff but you know it, it, if you're really looking for reperk, honestly, yeah. Uh, you know, if reperk is a thing for you and gold is a thing that you need, then I would advocate doing it. But, you know, if you don't need gold, you don't need reperk, don't do it. Uh, that's pretty much the only reason to run Storm King right now. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. 200,000 more schematic XP, some trap and weapon designs, and we got over 2 million schematic total. But, guys, thanks so much for watching. I greatly do appreciate it. That is pretty much it for the video. We went up about 2 to 3 uh, collection book levels, got some transforms done, um, and, you know, got a crap ton of schematics, gold, and resources and whatnot. But, guys, thank you so much for watching. I greatly do appreciate it. That's it for me. And I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Quite a lot of time went into it. And I'd greatly appreciate it if you shared this around, left a like on it, and, uh, you know, did the best you can to support this video. And, uh, yeah, that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much to my team for helping me accomplish these 100 runs. Death Grip, Samantha, and Nilek, you guys are freaking awesome. Thank you guys so much. And, guys, that's it for me. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.